A new trailer for Cobra Kai Season 6 has just been released by Netflix, confirming that production is underway for the final season. Today, we'll discover what we can find in all the hidden hints in this new trailer. Hi, I'm Ken Cole, and if you're a fan of Cobra Kai, The Karate Kid, or movies in general, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to look at the new trailer for Cobra Kai Season 6, and we're going to go shot by shot to see what we can discover and what hints there might be about what could happen in this final season of Cobra Kai. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey, Cobra Kai fans. Okay, so the first thing we notice here is that Ralph Macchio is saying, hey, Cobra Kai fans, and he's wearing a beard that's very similar to the announcement for the new Karate Kid movie. So does this mean at some point in season six that Daniel LaRusso has this mustache and beard? Or was the shot before filming got underway? A behind the scenes photo does show that Daniel LaRusso is standing in the Miyagi-Do backyard and does not have a beard. So maybe this beard may mean nothing. The wait is over. Okay, here's William Zabka saying the wait is over. Don't see much here, but always remember if you see something that I miss, let me know in the comments. We'll figure all of this out together. It's interesting we have an Eagle Fang cup of coffee. Does this mean that we'll continue to see Eagle Fang in some form in season six? Or will they be just completely this new merged dojo that we saw at the end of season five? Okay, so here's a shot of Jacob Bertrand uh, with uh, amazing hair, which is different, obviously, than the hair we've seen in the behind the scenes photos of the season so far. But he looks like he's super excited to get back into the swing of things for Cobra Kai season six. It's tough to tell if the background there has anything to do with the sets or anything to do with Cobra Kai or where they're shooting it or if maybe this is back home uh, before he's gone to Atlanta. This shot is very important. This is a shot of a highlighter going across the top of a script and you can kind of see the highlighter move over Cobra Kai. It's highlighting Cobra Kai and if we look closely there are some words that we can decipher. So let's let's take a look. I'm going to rotate this image and we're going to sharpen it so it'll help to maybe make some of the out of focus text a little more clear. And then we'll try to figure out what all the words we can tell are, because this is a script for the first episode of season six. So let's see what we can find. I think if you look across the top, you can see pink pages and pink pages. We'll get that out of the way right now. That's actually a color coded system for scripts. And that's usually the second revision. So if a script is turned in, then you have a first revision. Those revisions are in blue pages. And then the second revision are in pink pages and it's color coded and just keeps going from there. So this is really just referencing that this script would, this would be the second revision. Let's look very closely at the words here. And I'm going to go back and forth a few times here. Now take a look, look at all the words that we can see. Okay, as I go back and forth, and from what I can tell, I've kind of replicated this page for the words that I think I'm pretty sure are there. So if we see Cobra Kai 601 pink pages, then I think we can see Daniel looks surprised at dot dot dot. And we don't know who's saying this next line, but it looks like we can see plus working. <laughs> and then the next line is made me a, and then the next line starts made my. And then the next line starts students and the next line starts teach. Okay. So if we look at this, the question is, can we make sense of this? Can we figure out who's saying this line and what they might be talking about? Please let me know in the comments what you think this could be. So I am going to try to fill in these lines uh, with different characters, trying to roughly follow the formatting of screenplays and, and we'll see. So let's let's start, let's imagine, uh, would it make sense for Johnny to be speaking a line like this? So let me put this up. Uh, Daniel looks surprised at Johnny. He might say, plus working to rebuild Cobra Kai made me a better sensei. Yeah, Kreese made my life hell, but I'm proud of my students. We don't need Julie Pierce to teach these kids. We've got all we need right here. All right, so I don't know, what do you think? Is that plausible? Could it be Johnny saying something like this? Does that fit the words we know? I don't know, let me know. But why stop there? It could be other characters saying things. Can we make other characters fit this? So let's let's uh, let's try another character like Crease. So Daniel looks surprised at Crease. Then Crease says, "Plus working to build Cobra Kai" made me a powerful sensei and made my reputation of creating champion students. I will help you to teach this team for the Sakai Taikai. 
All I ask is for you to pay my legal fees. <laughs> so I don't know. What do you think? This fits the words we know. Could it be Kreese? Could he be saying something like this? Then, of course, who else might it be? Could it be that Terry Silver himself is talking with Daniel in this scene? Could this be a confrontation that comes way sooner than we ever expected? Let's see. Is there anything Terry could say that would make sense here? Well, let's try. Terry says, plus, working as Dynatalk CEO made me a ruthless competitor and made my ambition to train elite students. I forgot that in order to teach champions, I had to live like a champion. You're all disappointed in me. That's fair. But now that Kim Daun has taken over Cobra Kai, she'll twist it into something worse than anyone's imagined. I ask you now, please help me to end this nightmare that I created. So what do you think? Plausible? I don't know. But if you have an idea of who could be saying something and you have something that could plug in and then these words would fit, write it down in the comments and let me know. There are a lot of possibilities, but it almost seems like with talking about teaches and students, that type of thing, it's almost like it's got to be a sensei type person, maybe. But uh, but let me know what you think. OK, so going back to the video, it's Gianni DiCenzo as Dimitri. He is so excited about season six. And so are we. And here we have a slate. So this is, uh, you know, clapboard for episode 601. That is season six, episode one. And you can see all the information. You can see that it's being directed by Joel Navoa. Very, very exciting to see the season six logo there. See the camera whip around. You can see the camera on a dolly, dolly track right there. It looks like they're shooting something in Miyagi-Do, which seems to be a theme of this. It seems like all the behind the scenes information they've released so far is focused on Miyagi-Do scenes. And there's Peyton List saying she's heading to Atlanta. So she has, she's not there yet. And this is Courtney Hangler who plays Amanda. She says she's super pumped. And there's Tanner who says, we've been very hard at work behind the scenes. So here he might be in Atlanta right now. And we can see people working, you know, setting up the track, probably an AC pulling focus right there. There's uh, Mary Mauser pointing to Samantha. She's got her own trailer, which is really exciting. And then Vanessa Rubio reiterating how excited they are to be giving us season six, the final great season. And then here's Sholo, movie star Sholo, the Blue Beetle. And he is saying it's going to be a banger. The Binary Brothers. And you see Hawk with his brand new mohawk. And they are wearing white geese. Now, are these new geese for the new dojo? We had a new photo that was posted by Sholo very recently that shows potentially what a very blurry logo would look like for the E. So if we zoom in, I can AI enhance this and uh, we can get a very rough idea of of what that is. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you do you think that logo looks like anything in particular? That might be the logo on the back of the geese for the Binary Brothers here at Miyagi-Do. And then here's Una O'Brien with her New York Yankees hat talking about how everyone's a little disappointed that it's the last season, but... Alicia Hannah Kim saying it's going to be the biggest, baddest season yet. And look at that. She has Cobra Kai season six Netflix pillows, which I want and I hope they make available. I would love season six pillows. I don't know where you get them. It looks like she has a Cobra Kai robe as well. Is this robe a costume or is this just kind of a cool perk? Does everyone get a Cobra Kai robe? Uh, I would want that robe personally. Uh, it's the type of robe that I think Terry Silver would wear, and uh, I would I would wear it around the house all day. Okay, so this is going to be a big and bad season, and when she says that, we have an axe. This is this is really serious. I mean, we've we've seen weapons, we've seen chosen with his sigh, you know, we've seen Terry Silver wield a sword, but now this is the first time we've seen an axe. It's kind of tough to tell who might be picking that axe up, but uh, if that is a costume, that is a type of costume or uniform that we have not yet seen in Cobra Kai. It looks pretty badass, pretty threatening, and I'm very curious to see who's going to be using an axe in Cobra Kai season six. And then we have Yuji Okamoto, who plays Chosen, saying that he is heading to his martial arts class, which is really kind of exciting because that means we will see Chosen fight again. That that uh, battle he had with Terry Silver and the injury he suffered wasn't the last time we would see him fight, that he will recover from that and continue to do amazing things in season six. So we see the tightening of the belt. This could be the new geese. There's lots of surprises in season six. <laughs> Martin Cove saying very menacingly. And then we see Martin Cove training against, I don't know, this could be his teacher. This could be a trainer. This could be a stunt double for a character. I'll 
leave it to you to comment who you think this person he's fighting could be. But number one, it looks like we will see Kreese fight in season six. A lot of people have been wanting different fights like could it be Terry Silver he's fighting? Could it be Johnny? Could it be, I don't know, Sensei Kim Daun? Who would Kreese fight? Where is he going to go? He just escaped out of prison. So, uh, but it looks like he's gearing up for a pretty, pretty intense fight scene. Look at this. He is actually, he's holding a sword. So we saw Terry Silver fight in the season finale with a sword last season. Could Kreese finally be fighting with a sword? And who would he battle with a sword. This all sounds very dangerous, uh, especially in the hands of John Kreese. You know, I love his shirt. It says Paris, France. And the thing that catches my eye is that at the bottom, it has the Cobra Kai logo on his shirt as well. So what does this mean? Does this mean Paris is going to factor into this season? What is going on with Kreese? And is there a significance to this shirt? Okay. And here's Griffin who plays Anthony. He's saying he can't wait for us to see what happens in Cobra Kai season six. So then we have a shot through the monitor hooked up to the camera and we can see Miguel walking into frame in the Miyagi-Do backyard. And in the back, we can see students training and there's this focus on the chain. Now, this chain, I don't know if there's any coincidence, but it looks like it's on the kind of the same platform or bin as the ax came from. So we don't know, does this chain turn into a weapon this season or are there going to be chain fights? Okay, and now it's the part where Tanner's starting to tease and everyone's starting to tease that they can't can't say what's going to be happening this season there. They can't tell us. There's Gianni as Dimitri doing a front kick. Looks like it might be between shots. Sholo's there on his phone, probably posting photos from the set, you know, as we see. And then Gianni's saying he hopes no one breaks Dimitri's arm this season, which, which hopefully not. Of course, people might break other things. Okay, and then we see Hawk again. We see Jacob there with his new mohawk. What do you guys think of it? Is it pretty cool? Also, you'll notice that sometimes in some of these shots, people look cold, and that's because it is winter, and they're filming in Atlanta, and they're trying to make it seem like the valley, Southern California, so it's all just part of the magic of making television. I love those sunglasses, of course, drinking Coors Banquets. Oh, yeah. And then Courtney joking about, why not? Why don't we do Amanda Karate? Maybe that's the name of the new dojo. What do you think? Amanda has been karate adjacent up to this point, but maybe now she is karate full. Okay, here's Mary Mauser who plays Samantha. She's saying, if you think you've seen big, just think bigger. So this is a clue that I think this is going to be a huge season. Maybe we're going to be surprised at maybe the story content. We've already gotten hints from the showrunners that it is going to be the longest season yet in running time. And we've also gotten hints that this could be kind of an international season. So I bet it's going to go places we never expect it to go. And it's going to be longer than any other season. And maybe that's just the beginning of it. We probably have no clue what's going to happen. So this is this is pretty amazing. OK, and, and here's Gianni again, teasing us with potential spoilers. And are, is he going to say anything? We don't know. But look at this. So we've seen lots of shots from all different angles. This is where in season five, we saw master Kim Sun Young train Terry Silver and Jean Kreese and where we saw a very young Kim Daun. So these are shots uh, that would indicate we are going back there. Now, the question is, are there going to be more flashbacks? We know Master Kim Sung Young is going to play a bigger part uh, during this season, which is really cool because he was just mentioned once in Karate Kid 3, and now he's just being fleshed out as this amazing character. Um, are we going to see him in flashbacks in the setting, or are we going to see new scenes, current scenes from the series perspective of Sensei Kim Daun and her way of the fist? Are we going to see them train here. Th that would be very exciting. Could we see someone like John Kreese return here? Could we see Terry Silver return here? Okay. And then everyone thanks us, which is great. Vanessa Rubio says they have the best fans in the world, which is absolutely true. All of you watching this right now, you actually are the best fans in the world. I want to say I've had the chance to meet so many of you and talk with you here on this channel. You guys are the best fans in the world. And I'm, I'm honored to be one of you. It's, it's kind of amazing. And then William Zabka and Jacob are saying, see us in the set, see us in the dojo, which is great. And here we have Dallas Dupree Young as Kenny, which is an amazing name. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Terry Silver's former favorite student saying he's going to see us at the dojo, which is cool. And I think it, it also shows that we can't escape the facts of life and the fact that everyone grows up. And uh, I think Kenny this season is going to look a lot older than Kenny in season five, but 
we can't do anything about it. It's the same thing's true with Anthony. The same thing's true with with all the characters. But, you know, what are you going to do? Either you're going with the same cast member or you're recasting the role, which doesn't make sense. So it's part of the suspension of disbelief when we watch movies and TV shows. Uno O'Brien saying, see us in the dojo. And William Zabka saying, no mercy. The name of the show is Cobra Kai. We have all these dojos over the course of the series. We have this new dojo forming, but the name of the show is Cobra Kai. So my question going into the season is, what is the fate of the Cobra Kai dojo? Will it come back to Johnny? Will it be retired and a new dojo formed? I don't know. I'm looking forward to it, but I am so excited that they are back in production and everyone involved seems so excited about what's happening this season, which is going to be the biggest of all time. Please let me know if you saw something that I missed because we're all trying to figure this out together. Thanks so much. And also, if you've enjoyed this, I do do live streams, the Ken cast right here on this channel and an audio version of it. Please join us live and say hi. We'd love to hear what you think in the live chat. We'll see you next time.